In a recent appearance on Australian television, pink-haired, self-described sex educator Deanne Carson said that parents should ask babies for their consent before changing their diapers. Charlotte, don't you dare change Wilson's nappy without asking him permission. And if you want to give him a bath later, we're going to need written consent from the Pope. What up guys, it's your boy Mickler Bear, back once again with this time a very, very important video. If you haven't seen the news lately, then you may not know that a relationship expert by the name of Deanne Carson went on the Australian news and basically said, if you have a child and you're going to change that thing's nappy, then you better get consent, boy, because what you're doing is wrong. We need to bring a culture of consent into our lives. And that's the only way we're going to do it, is if we ask the baby's permission before we change its dirty, filthy nappy. Check it out. I'm going to change your nappy now. Is that okay? Of course the baby's not going to respond. Yes, mum, that's awesome. I'd love to have my nappy changed. But if you leave a space and wait for body language and wait to make eye contact, then you're letting that child know that their response matters. Uh... I mean, God bless you, Deanne. You know, you're a relationship expert and you got the haircut to prove it. You look like an iced gem. But honestly, you're just spewing some crazy <laughs> Like, nobody's gonna go for this. No parent is gonna leave their child in a dirty nappy because that is abuse, okay? You're saying, oh, just uh, give it a minute and then she literally gives it a minute in the interview. But if you leave a space, and wait, but if you leave a space... Uh, wait for eye contact and look out for body language. Body language? Bloody body language? I'm 28 years old. My body language is awkward as f right? But she's saying we got babies running around here like John Travolta. Like, oh, Wilson, you want your nappy changing? Seriously, what sort of parent is actually going to take this advice on board and put it into practice? You got to be crazy and you better be rocking that Ice Gem haircut. Wilson! Woo! He's smelling a bit ripe there, boy. How about we change that nappy, yeah? But we're progressive here. We're going to do it the modern way. So, Wilson, please, can I change your nappy? All right, so how do we do this? Look out for the body language. Uh, well, he's not not really moving that much, and he's clenching his fist. Uh, not a good start. Okay, eye contact. Let's check it out. All right, Wilson, you win this round. Now, I don't know if Deanne's interview has done anything to create this culture of consent she was banging on about, but what it has done is exposed crazy liberal feminists the world over. On Good Morning Britain, they were debating it, and they, you know, Piers Morgan is insufferable at the best of times, but I found myself agreeing with the man on a lot of points. And they had two guests on, two mothers, and hey, I'll give you a second, see if you can work out which one agrees that you should be asking your baby for consent. Oh, that's right, dude. Of course it's her. How did you know? I'm telling you, that haircut gives the game away. Okay, she isn't rocking the full ice jam. The frosting has melted a little bit on one side, but hey, she's almost there, right? But to be fair to her, she tries to go into a little bit more detail on what constitutes consent. Talk me through it. Sh show me what he would well, do. Well, if, if a baby um, is upset, yeah. then you will see tension, a body arch, Jane, something like that. Jane, plenty of babies don't like it when you change their nappy. She talks about the baby being tense, arching its back, you know, being generally upset, like all babies are when you change their nappies, right? 
But she goes a little further and says it's not just about consent, it's about respecting your baby, letting it know that it matters, right? Introducing the idea that I respect you as a human being, so there's going to be a momentary right. acknowledgement of I see you and you matter. Did you so let me get this right. I've got to ask a baby for consent to change its nappy. The baby says no, right? Am I supposed to respect that opinion? Hell no, because nobody agrees that you should leave a baby in a dirty nappy. So that means I'm going to change that nappy. And what does that teach the child? Well, it teaches the child that, hey, no doesn't mean no. If you, you don't give me consent to do this nappy, it's going to happen anyway. What a great life lesson. Oh my god, these liberals, they make the world a better place. You can't leave a baby in a dirty nappy. And the, the thing is, consent, children can't give consent. That's why we have can. an No, that's why we have an age of consent, because children under the age of 16 can't consent. Oh! Get wrecked, dude! It's at this moment she knew, she knew she had lost the argument. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Consent cannot be given by somebody under the age of 16. She just wrecked your ass, dude. To be honest, after this, she couldn't really keep her cool. Piers Morgan tried to get to the, the crux of it. How will a parent know uh, how a baby is reacting? Is it given consent or not? And well, she just kept stumbling on her words. She couldn't answer. She got rattled, meaning she didn't quite believe what she was spouting. I rest my case. Just to clarify, because viewers will be watching this going, how do I do this with my three-month-old mm. baby? What are the signs they should look for of a baby not giving consent for its nappy to be changed? So, so you know, it it's just so so you know it it's just so you know it so it's just. <laughs> Please, Wilson. It's been two days. The house stinks of sh. <laughs> I can taste it, Wilson. Please, give me permission. Ah! But hey, it's not just here in the UK that we have the crazies. They're all over the place. In particular, America, on Fox News, they have the liberal Sherpa. Oh my God, this lady, right? She ain't rocking the ice jam haircut. But one look at her eyes, and you know exactly what kind of crazy she is. But she takes it a step further. She's saying, babies, they can consent. Of course they can. Why? This is why. I mean, don't right? people have to give consent? That you can't give organs if you don't give consent, right? So if you have consent, even dead people can make decisions. Why can't babies? So from dead birth Dead people can make decisions? How do they do that? Dead people can make decisions? Dead people can make decisions? How do they do that? Well, you have to give consent to have the organs taken after you die. So if you can give consent from a baby year to your death. Hey, it's not dead people giving the decision. You make that decision when you're alive. And then only after your death do they have the consent to take your organs. Get your facts right. I mean, my favorite part of this one is just the host. You can tell he's interviewing her. And she's been on this show a few times, right? He, she, he probably knows her quite well by now. But each time he just, oh, you can tell he's laughing behind those eyes, right? He can't keep a straight face. Everything she says, he's just like, right. People should always give consent if their body is going to be so touched. Right. <laughs> oh, dude. Look, guys, whether you agree with it or not, parenting has been working pretty well for a very long time. Like, consent is something that should be taught to children, definitely. But should it happen when you're changing a baby's nappy? I'm not too sure about that. It's an important subject. These people, their hearts are in the right place. They're trying to make the world a better place for all of us. They're trying to like you say, safeguard children for the future. But at the same time, we don't want to wrap them in cotton wool and we need to teach them in the right way. And I just don't think this is the right way. But hey, what do I know? And you know what? It's been three days now. And Wilson is getting his damn nappy changed. Woo! We gonna change that nappy, boy. <sighs> what have I done? I'm a monster. Well, I did it. It's been three days. And I finally changed Wilson's nappy. 
even though he said no. <laughs> He's gonna grow up not knowing what consent is. <laughs> but he was basically sat on a little mound of feces. <laughs> This is not the progressive way. <sighs> hey guys, what up? Mick LaBear here. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And just to let you know on a serious note that no babies were harmed during the making of this video. In fact, I don't have a baby. Wilson, he's just a dog. Um, and this on my face, well, come on guys, you think I'd put real feces on my face? It's Nutella, guys. Basic, bog standard, the th the uh. <coughs> Sure, you were supposed to use Nutella!